Hi, I'm Niels, co-founder of Instant.ai. And in this video, I'll be doing a demo, a walkthrough of Instantly, and kind of showing you all the different features, uh, what's included in Instantly, what you can do with Instantly, and also the overall flow of it, and how to set up a campaign and so on. But the main value proposition of Instantly is really it helps you scale your outreach campaigns through unlimited email sending accounts, unlimited warm-up, and smart AI. So you can really get more leads, get more meetings, and scale up your campaign. So let's take a look at uh, what that looks like in practice. I'm going to log into um, an account here. And the first thing you'll see in your Instantly account is all the outreach accounts that you have connected. All the email accounts that are doing the outreach you know, on your behalf. So that's always the first step, connecting your outreach accounts here. So you can see we have quite a bit of accounts connected. You can connect as many as you want and you can also warm up as many as you want. And if you've been in the cold email game for a while, you know that usually you have to pay per inbox 20, 30, 50 dollars per inbox per month, um, which let's say if you have 10 or 20 inboxes to do the outreach, it can really add up in terms of cost. So with instantly you can scale up your volume without really scaling up your costs at the same time. Now, First step would be, right, if you come into this account and there's, you just signed up, first step would be to connect your outreach accounts. You can connect uh, Gmail, G Suite, uh, Outlook, um, and Zoho, and really any provider through IMAP and SMTP. Now, when you have it connected, then the second step would be to uh, put it into the warm up pool. And what the warm up pool is, you can basically think of it as a big community of people emailing each other back and forth. Uh, basically, you're instantly friends and you're emailing back and forth with them. They're replying to your email, just like sending the right signals to the email providers, to Google and saying, hey, like this is an email uh, that should land in the primary inbox. There's all these other people replying to it. And that's how the warm up pool works. So if we go to the settings, we'll see a little bit more about that. You'll see the deliverability score of the warm up emails. Here you can also see like a gradual ramp, ramp up uh, up to uh, 40 a day. You can set these settings, but this is how you're going to do the warm up email. So let's say if you have a brand new outreach account, um, you want to put that outreach account like two, three weeks into the warm up. And then as you know, once you're running campaigns with it, you also want to keep it in the warm up. But here you can see how it gradually builds up and you can see a summary of the stats. Now settings for each uh, inbox email inbox that you have connected. You can adjust the names. You have the daily campaign limit. Uh, you can also add a custom tracking domain, which helps again with deliverability and some of the metrics. So really important, always write the number one priority of cold email is to keep the deliverability high and having a lot of sending accounts, having unlimited warm up uh, are just two of the main things that really can help you with deliverability. The custom, track, custom tracking domain is also one of those things. It's, um, it's very easy to set up. Uh, we have a two minute video on, on how to do that and you can add it, add your custom tracking domain here also. Now, next step would be to set up some of the warm up settings. These are some of the basic settings. You can set the increase per day, daily warm up limit, reply rate, just some uh, basic stuff here where it gradually increases the send per day. Let's say you have a, a, an outreach account. You've been doing cold email for a while already. You have an outreach account um, that's not new. You can just disable slow warm up and it will jump right to this limit. But if it's a new account, we recommend you know starting at two and then gradually increasing the amount of warm up emails you're getting. Then uh, next step would be the advanced settings. Here are really cool, the read emulation. So it will spend time and scroll through scroll through your warm up email to emulate human like reading. It's really cool. Um, one of the advanced settings, warm custom tracking domain, random email range, and open rate spam protection mark important. So these are all important signals that we want to send out there to make sure that you know, when we're doing the cold outreach, uh, that our deliverability is high, deliverability is high, we reach the main inbox, we reach our primary inbox, and your potential clients see your message and the reply to your uh, message, to your offer. Now, this is in terms of the settings for each outreach account. Um, you know, when you come in here, 
just click on the little flame when it turns green it will enable the warm up and again connect as many as you want you can really you know really really scale here um, so this is the first step connect your accounts put them into the warm up then the second step is going to be uh, setting up campaign so let's set up a campaign together real quick this doesn't uh, take a long time long time I will just like, give you a little bit of an overview of, of what the flow looks like so here on the left hand side we'll, we were at email accounts now let's jump to the campaigns we'll click here add new and uh, let's set up a campaign together I have prepared a, prepared a lead list um, this is just a lead list I prepared uh, verified it so I'm gonna set up a campaign here the targeting obviously everybody has different targeting in this case I'm gonna message companies that have that were funded in May uh, in EMEA so in Europe and so on so we'll click we'll um, add the campaign name click continue and now let me download this lead list uh, I'm gonna download it as a CSV and let's go back here to instantly and then let's import these leads that we want to cold email import upload csv so i've uploaded the csv here and then you can see the, the email it will directly recognize that match the attribute to it um, verify status we don't really need to import here but we want to import the custom variable first name last name that's usually a good idea so we can write dynamically say hey first name um, with the variable company name also something uh, they like to import here corporate phone we don't really have any data for the corporate phone here so I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna import that and yeah company URL company LinkedIn we could uh, if we wanted to we could uh, import that as a custom variable but I'm not gonna use the uh, LinkedIn URL in the cold email copy so um let's see let's check if this looks good email first name last name and the company name those are kind of important variables for this specific campaign um you can also create uh, custom variables and personalized lines variables and so on when you upload it here so let's upload all the leads uh, are you sure yes let's upload them and all contacts have been uploaded so it will directly bring you to the sequences editor and uh, you can see here the leads were added all here now first step uh right now we have to come up with a message uh, i'm not going to do that here on the demo just to save some time i have a template prepared uh, you can also save custom templates right so if you have something that's working well for you you can just you know save it and then use it uh, later on so let me see um let's use this one as a first step first name congrats on launching company names so we'll dynamically insert that uh, subject line one i like to use is just called it's just thoughts question mark usually works well then you can add as many follow-up steps as as you want usually i do three to five steps in a sequence but that depends on you and then you have two to three days uh, uh, of wait between the steps let's add a follow-up step here too uh, so we're gonna add this here let's add a second step uh, let's see what we have here let's use this one uh, just as a follow-up step so we have it here okay great so um, I'm not gonna set up more follow-up steps here but um, and just to save some time again but you can see just add as many uh, just build out the sequence as you want then next step is going to, going to be to set the schedule so these uh these leads are primarily primarily in the european time zone so um, let me just uh put it for the european uh, business hours uh let's say on the north um save it and um yeah great so we upload the leads we upload uh, we create a sequence and we set the schedule and then options and then this is a neat feature also you can see we can just 
the accounts, the sending accounts that we connected in the beginning, we can just add them in here into campaign and we'll do inbox rotation. So it will just rotate all these sending accounts, these outreach accounts, and uh, it will rotate them. So you can connect as many as you want. I'm just going to add the ones with my name here. For now, we have a couple of different names that are doing outreach here. I'm just going to use mine um, here. So, you know, you can, if you want, you can just connect 24 outreach accounts, uh, uh, drop them into that campaign and they're, and they're ready to go again. You have you can connect an unlimited amount of accounts like if you connect five or ten or 15 accounts you can still do that with the growth or the hyper growth plan so the growth plan is 37 a month just everything included hyper growth is also 97 a month everything included um so you have inbox rotation here open tracking you can leave that on and some default settings and let's see we have 24 accounts connected usually i recommend 30 to 50 emails outreach emails per day per account. So um, let's see 24 times uh, 30 emails with this one, we can send 720. So 24 times 30 is uh, 720. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, but we can send 720 emails in one day. And then we're ready to go. So all the sending accounts are connected. They'll do inbox rotation. This also helps with deliverability, making sure your open rates and your reply rates is high and making sure you know uh, that you land in that primary inbox. And then we're ready to go. So we can send high volume. It's high volume for the campaign, but on a individual inbox level, it's not that high volume. Uh, so it doesn't really raise uh, any red flags and it, it flies on the radar, uh, so to say. Um, because each individual inbox is not sending that that much volume. You can still send 30 to 50 per inbox, which is uh, good. But you can see 720, good volume. So let's launch this thing. Uh, yes, for sure. And we're going to launch it. OK, so we launched the campaign uh, before. And now uh, I'm going to show you what the analytics looks like. So this is, uh, this is a campaign I launched uh, the other day. And just to show you a little bit, what the stats and metrics look like. Uh, you can see here the sent email, how many opened, the open rate, how many replied, the reply rate. You can see the graph also um, when and how many replied. So this in terms of the graph and the analytics. Then the next step would be the leads, right? If you want a more detailed view of the leads, you can set check uh, check the filters. Let's say you know you want to see any everybody that opened but hasn't replied or people that haven't opened yet on people that replied. So you can apply these filters and uh, you can then also export that data. And maybe, you know, for anybody that's open, but hasn't replied, uh, maybe put them into a new campaign with a uh, with new body copy. Um, so this is in terms of what it looks like with the analytics, you'll see it like that um, for your campaigns. Then the next step, right? We connected the accounts, we warmed them up. We set up the campaign, we launched the campaign, we're looking at the stats. Now the replies have come in, right? Which is ultimately the goal. So we're going to move on to the Unibox, which is the centralized master inbox where all of the replies are aggregated in one place and where you can easily reply to each, each one of them. So let's jump in here. Uh, so let's see. From all the outreach inboxes, right? This is actually a live account. So I'm showing show you some live data here. You can see everything is aggregated in one place. So let's say uh, this one, this campaign here, um, the this follow-up seemed to have worked. It brought in the reply from um, from the person uh, that we put um, that we want that we reached out to and that we want to, uh, to get a reply from. Um, so yeah, let's say you have a, a positive reply here. Uh, it just came in like, um, two, three hours ago. And, uh, let's say they're interested. You can mark it as interested. You can set up a Zapier also to just automatically push that into your CRM if anybody's interested. And then if you want to, uh, reply to them, you can do that here, uh, and reply to them and say, uh, sounds great. Um, does uh, tomorrow 1 p.m. or 3 p.m. EST uh, work uh, for you? 
or you know whatever your approach is after that once you get the positive replies depends on you if you want to send the calendar of course you can do that too and then um, you can see um, from here you can really manage all your you know all the all the pro positive replies that come in um, so yeah so to recap we have the email accounts we we set up the campaign um, launch it look at the analytics and then you'll see the all the positive replies all the replies in one place which makes it easy to reply to them push into your crm continue the sales process from there and yeah scale your campaigns from there really so um this was a uh, overview of uh, instantly and uh, what it can do so uh, and how it uh, how it could help you get more you know more replies uh, more meetings ultimately more revenue more clients uh hope that was helpful uh if you have any questions uh, let us know and um talk to you soon thanks